SawaProvinceWayFM.com. Hey, I'm Dave of Sawa Province with today's word on the way. <laughs> Out there this afternoon. Here it You're listening to one of Kentucky. Got original 1967 Chevrolet Corvette AM FM radio. This radio's in real nice shape. Uh, we've basically just done a cleaning job on it, polished the lens, and uh, done a full Aurora design conversion. It now has AM FM stereo. Auxiliary in. Uh, we're using the original plug for the hot and the light, power and light. It's got four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got auxiliary in, uh, plugs into the back of it. This is your port. It's got auxiliary in right here. Uh, you'll get a mail to mail to plug anything you want to in it. Also, it has USB. This is your USB port. Right now, I'm charging my little iPod with it. It will charge your phone, devices, play a thumb drive. You'll get one of them with it. Push button operated and control operated. I'm going to demonstrate all that for you. Let my little iPod kind of charge up a little bit. Uh, it has Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice ID, voice control, uh, voice command. It's fully loaded. It turned out pretty nice. I got my handprints smears all over it. Got to do a little wipe down for it leaves here. Anyhow, right now you're on FM. Uh, you got a little bitty red stereo light up here that comes on when you find a stereo channel. It lights up for a stereo channel. There's all back on. This is praise to pays. Codes coupons. This radio will also scan your station for you. I'm gonna demonstrate that. You have fader and uh, balance built in your toner control. And we'll demonstrate that. I think he's planning on using just the one dash speaker, which is stereo. But it's so close together, you won't have to worry about it. But we're gonna demonstrate it for him, just in case he wants to add more speakers. Right now you're on FM. You got a little down here, right? It's hard to see, but we got an operating LED down here. Let me push it up right there. Changes multiple colors. We didn't want. It's a driver, is what he told me, but we didn't want too much flashing going on in it. Uh, we've got the original background light in it, and uh, it's just there for you to have fun with. That's the main thing. Bluetooth. It's got everything, and it. it's fully loaded. So we're gonna demonstrate it. I think my little thing's charging up. Oh yeah. Go to uh, go to AM. Just flip it over. That takes you to AM radio. Six fifty in Nashville. Got all your uh, presets and everything working. Traveling bass like you've always had. Now, if you do hook up two speakers, you'll have balance built in your toner control. If you hook up three or more, you'll have balance and fader. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. I got four speakers running in here. Why don't we treble back it up just a little bit, and we're gonna go in the fader mode. We're gonna go clockwise like a 12-2 motion, and she's gonna come on and say, uh, fader adjust. Fader adjust. There's your rears. Way FM. There's your fronts. So with the new year starting, I thought one thing we could do balance it out. You want to so we hear all four. Let it be. Amish, now it's back, back on treble and bass. Yeah, so like, <laughs> we're gonna go back to about a little bit off it. We're gonna go counterclockwise, like a twelve ten motion. We're gonna go into the balance mode. One, two. Balance adjust. Right you side. Writing a novel. Yeah. An Amish Left side. fiction romance novel. Yeah. You want to hear this? I've only got the intro. I'm intrigued. Let's okay. hear. So Balance it out. Let it be. The... What? Uh, now all we got to worry about is treble and bass. We can hear all four speakers. Amish culture, do you? Here's how it starts. His leadership. And he says, listen. At the end of the day, I walk me home with a few more dollars to call my own. Bed. Get a little music going there. Huh? Uh, your auxiliary in is automatic. This little light down here will change for red, 
for AM, uh, Amber for FM, Green Fox, Zillary in. Let's see if we've got enough charge on. I think we do. Let's take this off charge and let's uh let's play a little music off it. All we're gonna do is bring our device up on music. If I can get it going here. Alright, now we're there. We just pull out your cord, you can plug anything into it you want to. CD players, your phone, MP3 players, uh, iPod, satellite radio, XM radio, anything that's got a head that puts out a sound, you can plug it in here. Just plug your little cord in. Plug it in here, and all we gotta do is hit play. House in the Go on the green as auxiliary in. Now, if you want to come off it and go back to radio or anything you got plugged in, just simply turn your device off. And uh, in 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where we had it. If you don't want to wait 20 seconds, just turn it off and right back on. You can cancel that 20 seconds out. We're going to let it do its thing just in case you don't touch it. It automatically switches over. Should be getting close. There it is. Switch back over to stereo right where we left it. Now this radio will scan for you. We're going to demonstrate that. That's what this little LED is for. All you're going to do is you're going to take the tuning knob. You're going to go up twice on your needle. One, two, like that. Little light gets to flashing. Now it's going to start scanning stations for you without the needle moving. Defections. There was a there senior defection in uh, 2016 in the UK. It is, of course, a blow to the prestige and the reputation of that particular. The scanning station. I'll show you how to actually lock on that station or even find it if you want to set a preset on it. We'll let it go a couple more. That's what this little LA is doing. It's down here flashing. So it's telling you it's scanning. He has even gone beyond that. I'm going to let it go now a couple more stations. So I'm going to show you how to. Say so we like that station there. All we're going to do is turn it once. It's going to start flashing quick. Now it will lock on it or it will go quiet to let me find it. <coughs> there it is. Pull out preset. You got it like to know what station that is say ah, i'd like to go back to that one or somebody goes hey what station is that all you do is take your volume knob and turn it up three times one two three nine two dot one this it will do this on am and fm it tells you that's voice id so it'll id the channel for you that's a pretty good little deal i like it i'm a sniffing All right, now we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the Bluetooth. We're gonna do the initial pair up. You will too. Pair up your phone to it. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So if you're a primary driver, that's the one you want to do. That way, when you get in the car after you do the pair up and turn this radio on, it'll say Bluetooth connected. She'll come on and tell you. We're gonna bring our phone up. Make sure we're on Bluetooth. We are. We're gonna hold this little button down. Bluetooth ready to pair. It's gonna show up on our phone, it did. All we gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Nashville, this is February 8th right. at Bridgestone Arena. Now we're gonna do a voice command. We have a mic that's built in right behind this push button. Plus you get an extra mic in case the car is convertible, a little bit loud. You can plug it in over here where it says mic and run it closer to you. 
This one here's got a pretty good little deal right there, so it ought to pick up real well. Let's try it out. We're gonna hold this down, bring Sirius up on our phone, tell it to play music. Play music. Now, I haven't rebooted my phone in a while. Let's see what it does. Be right with you. <laughs> Sometimes my phone, it's a smartphone, but it's slow. Need to reboot it. Now it's opening music. All right, now we're on music. We want to uh, change it. All we do is press this down once. We can we can uh, advance the songs. We can actually back up by hitting it twice. Or we can take the volume knob and go up down the scale, back up, back up the scale. That's how we do it. My phone is getting kind of slow. Now this button also works just like that on your USB, I'll demonstrate for you, but also here. If we want to summon our phone up or answer a phone call, we can click the needle up one click to answer the call or push the button once before a call comes in. The radio will stop whatever it's doing, you'll hear it ring. Twice on the button will end the call or turn down will end the call, or you just let it hang up and go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. We're going to bring our phone up by using this, just like this, by holding this down, bring our phone up for a voice command. We're going to use the volume control up twice. Stop music. Put it in pause, going right back to radio. Back on radio. Now we're paired up, and every time you get in your car, I'll call you back in a minute. All right, every time you get in the car, it'll come on and say pair it up. Go to radio. Bluetooth connected. There we are. Hello. Hello. Hey, is this Richard? It is. Oh, got the man stuff. Hey, I want to get my uh, radio repaired for a Mustang. I called you uh, about a week ago and talked with you, and uh, then I've done some more research and things, and uh, I want to have you repair it for me if I can. Just repair. And uh, just, I've got your website up here now. Uh, it doesn't really show any prices or anything, and we discussed some just top high ball figures here. Okay. Uh, and then I had to make up the decision. Anyhow, long story short, I, I want to go with a full package deal. And, okay. And uh, I w would like to have you pick out the speakers and everything for me because I was going to pick out some other speakers and you were like, ah, oh, don't go that way. Those are crap. And, and so, <laughs> okay. I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing here. And I think you do. So I would rather have you uh, pick them out for me. I've got a 66 Ford Mustang. Radio is a really good shape. Uh, not dirty or rusted up or anything like that. Cool. And uh, uh, I want to go with full conversion. Uh, I'm 65 years old. I really don't have to have, you know, banging stereo, but I do like a good crisp stereo, you know, that you can hear all the tones and everything well. Okay. Uh, uh, right now, I'm shooting a video. You're on the video. We're on. A, we're uh, talking through a 1967 Mustang radio. I mean, a Corvette. Oh wow! Huh. So you're on. You're on Bluetooth, and I'm videoing on it. And uh, can I call you back just as soon as I end this video? You most certainly can. Uh, do you have my number, or do you need it? I got it right here on the phone. I'll give you a ring back. All right. Thank you very much, Richard. All right. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye. Now we're just going to let the phone hang up and let's go back to doing what we're doing, which it was on. Back on radio. So that's how your phone calls and all work. I could have ended the call, but I let the phone in it and it went right back to radio. 
that's your Bluetooth and you know that you're lit up because your button's lit up. Now we're going to do the USB. You'll get a thumb drive with some music on it and this video. All you do is plug it in, it's going to go straight to it. operates the same as your phone in changing your song. If you want to advance, push it down once. That'll change your song. Back up. Go back forward. I don't have much music on this one. Anyhow. Alright, you can do it with the push button or the tuning knob. And then I showed you how to summon your phone up by turning this volume knob up twice. You can put this in pause by using the volume control by going down twice. So it means you can hide this on time you need to take this out if you want to charge the device. So let's put it in pause. Let's go two ways. We're going to go with a button. we we'll hold it down one second. It's in pause. We're going to go right back to radio. Now it depends on how long you're down in pause whether it goes back to the same song or not. Now we're Math back on the radio. Accelerating the pace of All right, we're going to go back to it by inside. pushing it down one second. More more it, right back to it. Is this a now we're going to go to pause here. Volume knob down twice. Put it in pause. Go right back to radio. Down twice on this for USB. Up twice for Bluetooth. Let's go back to here, down twice, right back to it. Back to pause, right back to radio. That's your uh, original 67 Corvette AM FM uh, with a full Aurora design conversion, four channels, and it's cleaned up. I gotta wipe my smudges off of it, but it's ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.